Do you think it's important to look expensive? And do you ever feel like you're taken more seriously when you look expensive? If you do a quick search on YouTube, you see a lot of videos on this topic, such as how to look expensive on the budget, how to create a designer look with $50, and the best tips to look expensive. Now, the definition of looking expensive obviously varies depending on who's looking at it. I mean, what's really expensive to me is most likely only a small change for someone like Kylie Jenner. But generally speaking, looking expensive is usually associated with wearing designer pieces and having a high spending power. But do all wealthy people actually worry about what they wear? Let's talk about this. I personally think looking expensive can be important for certain places and occasions. The thing is, as much as we don't want to admit it, we do judge a book by its cover. For example, if you go into a luxury store wearing a Chanel handbag or a Cartier bracelet, you might be treated differently compared to if you go in wearing a Uniqlo bag. By the way, I love my Uniqlo bag and I highly recommend it. Now you might say, well, I don't really care about what the sale associates think, and that is totally valid. But my point is, that is often the dynamic for luxury stores because at the end of the day, the sale associates need to prioritize their time and energy for the so-called right clientele. Obviously, this probably doesn't apply if you're already a household name and everyone knows that you're doing really well. But for the rest of us, how we dress can undeniably affect the kind of service we receive and the way we are perceived by others. Now you might think, this is so shallow, and it is in a way. But how we look isn't just about impressing the seal associates when you do your luxury shopping. Sometimes it can affect our work life as well. In fact, I know a gentleman who works as a property agent. He bought a very nice car, even though he knew he could have used that money for a bigger house or a house in a nicer area. And this is how he explained his purchase to me. And it goes, you know your clients don't come to your house, so they won't know where you live, but they will see the kind of car you drive. In his industry at least, the car is almost like a tool for making a good first impression. So to him, this car is like an investment for his business because it somehow gives him more credibility. So as much as I'm not into cars, I can understand why he would spend so much on looking expensive and driving a certain luxury car. When I used to work as a healthcare professional, we had to change into scrubs, but a lot of my colleagues would wear really nice watches. Some pieces cost as much as the down payment for a house. I used to think that was crazy, but wearing those expensive pieces was a very tangible way to suggest that you are successful and established. Now, this is not to say the only way to do well in your job is to wear expensive designer items to work. My colleagues are very skilled professionals, but the expensive things they wear and the cars they drive somehow added another layer of credibility. And I have a feeling that the law and financial industries work the same way. So if you work in those settings, please share your thoughts. Now, what if you don't work in those professions? Do you think looking expensive means looking good? Personally, I don't think that's always the case. I mean, I love a good designer handbag. My Birkin, for example, is my all-time favorite because it's so easy to style. That said, I think it's very possible to look good with items that are clearly from the high street. I've seen people in a plain white t-shirt, a pair of white converse, and they might carry a long sham tote bag, and they look really good. In fact, I think it's charming in its own way because it looks like you're not trying too hard. Now let's say everything else equal, if you replace the plain white t-shirt with a Gucci t-shirt, you definitely look more expensive, but I don't think it's necessarily a nicer looking outfit. In fact, I think the price tag of what you wear is usually cherry on the cake. For me, looking good has so much to do with the basic and mundane things that we do every day, which are not necessarily fashion related. For example, drinking enough water, having enough rest, looking after your skin, 
having good teeth and shiny hair. Years ago, a friend of mine really wanted a Chanel bag and she saved up for it for a while, but eventually she decided to use that money for braces instead. And she told me it was absolutely worth every penny because she's so much more confident and happier with or without the Chanel. But now that she also has the Chanel is cherry on the cake. So my point is, if you have the means, there's nothing wrong with having both, but the cake should always be the priority. I've always enjoyed mixing designer brands with high street pieces. My t-shirts and jeans, for example, are from Uniqlo, Cos and Evelyn, but I do splurge on certain items because I think they're worth the money. For example, a really solid winter coat, good quality shoes, and timeless fine jewelry pieces. However, once you start buying luxury items, it's very easy to go down the slippery slope. By that I mean, you might feel like everything you wear has to be designers because otherwise they don't go well together. There's actually a name for it and it's called the Diderot effect. It's a phenomenon where when you start buying something nice, you tend to want to buy more nice things to complement this item. So let's say you just bought a designer handbag. Soon, you might also want a designer wallet, a pair of designer shoes, and eventually, even your keyring and your phone case have to be a certain price point. In fact, I've received a message from a viewer saying she just bought a Birkin bag, which she was really happy about. But now that she had this amazing Hermes bag, she started to consider upgrading her car as well because otherwise, it felt like she wasn't worthy of the Birkin. So I think it really helps to question why we want to look expensive in the first place. Is it something you do because you genuinely enjoy looking that way? Or is it something that makes you feel more validated? Or is it simply a way to impress other people? We've already established that certain industries and settings do require us to look more polished and maybe even flashy, but do we need to impress everyone else? For example, our friends, family, social media followers, and maybe even strangers whom we'll never see again. Let me know if you agree with this, but I think the desire to look expensive is one of the many reasons why the counterfeit market is thriving. In healthcare, you naturally will come across all walks of life. I must say I've had plenty of surprises when it comes to looking expensive and actually being wealthy. I've met people who've done some really amazing things, but they look rather modest. And what I mean is they don't feature the stereotypical expensive looks or outfits. Meanwhile, some people might look flashy, but they were actually living paycheck to paycheck. On that note, I want to share a story which I talked about a while ago. It's about a friend of my ex-managers. Apparently, this gentleman looked like he was living his best life. He wore only designer clothing. He dined in the nicest restaurants and he owned several very fancy cars. So looking at him, you get the impression that he was doing very well for himself. But as it turned out, he was actually in a lot of debt to the point he ended up taking some really drastic measures. Now I'm not saying that everyone who is driving a nice car or carrying a luxury handbag is in debt. I'm sharing this because it really reminded me of how you never get to see the whole picture behind a very good looking outfit or a seemingly exciting life. So try to see everything with a pinch of salt because the reality is to some people, looking expensive is only a very small extension of their wealthy lifestyle. But to others, it's more of a liability. I also want to point out that certain wealthy people probably don't spend as much as we think they would because when you're famous, beautiful and expensive things will be gifted to you because it's good for the luxury brand to have the exposure. It's quite ironic if you think about it because people who have a very high spending power are often the ones who don't actually have to spend on looking expensive. There was a time where designer logo was highly celebrated. At one point, it felt like every fashion house had a white t-shirt with their logo on, but with the rise of quiet luxury, 
It now looks like the new trend of looking expensive is to look simple, neutral and muted. And apparently, you're not doing quite luxury, right? If you happen to wear any designer logo. So all of a sudden, looking expensive now is about looking not too expensive. So it really does make you think, what is the definition of looking expensive? Is it really the ultimate fashion goal? Or are we just idolizing the idea of looking expensive because we get the impression that all wealthy people dress in a certain way? Now again, I do own certain designer pieces, so I'm not trying to be a hypocrite here. But for me, looking expensive doesn't always mean looking good and vice versa. A lot of times, doing the basic housekeeping alone can make a lot of difference in the way we look. For example, going for quality materials, steaming and ironing your pieces, wearing clothes that are well-fitting and so on. For me, the important thing is to stay true to your own style because there's nothing more frustrating than spending a lot of money on an outfit just for you to feel like you're pretending to be someone you're not. And that's it from me today, guys. Thank you for being here. Take care and I will see you soon.